Welcome to Naresh Technologies. I am Manga Raju and uh, uh, we are in the continuation of our C Sharp uh, new features. So, till now we have just gone with uh, 5 new features here improvements in out parameters, tuples, deconstructors, local functions, pattern matching and the sixth one is going to be binary literals and digit separators. It is a very simple uh, feature here, but still uh, we will try to understand about it. A small and a little feature what we just have binary literals and digit separators. What is the binary literal? What is the literal first? So, basically what is the literal? A literal is something uh, or it literally simply a value. Suppose I am saying int i is equals to 100. Understand this is an integer literal. This is an integer literal. Next string s is equals to hello. This is a string literal. Double d is equals to just going to store some value and this is a double literal. Bool b equals to and just going to assign a value here uh, like false boolean literal char ch is equals to a character literal like this these are different literals it is a literal these are all what we call literal a value basically uh, of a particular type is what we call as a literal ok. So, till now a literal can be of a particular type a particular type means you understand this is going to be a string literal this is a character literal integer literal uh, boolean literal like this we just have. But just understand a point here when I declare char ch is equals to a how the computer stores its values computer will basically store the value in a binary format. So, how do it find the binary format first it will pick the ascii value of this character what is the ascii value of this character 65 and now this ascii value is converted in binary format 1 0 0 0 0 0 5 0 1. So, this is the binary representation of a. So, computer will first pick the ASCII value and that ASCII value is now converted into binary format and that binary value is what is stored for us implicitly ok. This is how the computer stores the value, but can I directly give a binary value uh, for a character? No, directly you cannot give a binary value you need to give a character and afterward that converts into ASCII and that will be internally converted into binary. Now, have a look here. I am adding a new class here. We will call this class as binary literals demo, binary literals demo. Define a main method static void main. Now, here I am going to write some integer value int i equals to 100 console dot right line i I am not doing anything simple I am just going to write a simple code there printing the i value the i value 100 ok. So, now I am just trying to print the i value. So, nothing special says so simply a variable and printed value. So, now this is an integer value, integer value have a look we already know that we can declare it by using the var keyword and running it now also it prints the value and the i is of which type integer type. Now, here I wanted to give a binary value now even if I am trying to give the binary value internally that is going to be taken as an integer only and prints you the integer value only see there even you just go to write here console dot write line i dot get type you can just notice still it is going to be an integer value ok it is not represented as a binary if you want the value to be represented as a binary prefix the binary value with 0 b. Once you prefix this, this is not integer value, this value is considered as binary. Now, run this, if you run and watch it, it is going to print you 65. Why 65? Because this is the binary value of 65 and that 65 is an ASCII value of character A. You want to get back the particular original character? Watch, convert dot to char of 
passing the integer value. If I pass the integer value, now you will get the character representation of that one A. So, this is what we call as a binary value, binary literals. So, earlier we can give only literals of specific types like interesting double float or character or some user defined types also. But from C sharp 7.0, you are given an option for storing of binary literals also. But the binary literal value should be prefixed with a character 0 b. Okay. And see, uh, suppose I am just going to see i is integer only. Now, also i is integer only. But there is a binary value what it stores, but internally it is going to be declared as integer. Where x is equals to 0 b, 0 1 0 1. I am going to store a value. Okay, I am just going to store a value. Fine, you can just watch it. Console dot write line x. What is that? There is a binary value of 10. I am sorry, not 10. Let us watch. What is the binary value? There is a binary value representing uh, for 5. Okay, uh, I want the binary value representing another thing. So, this 0101 is a binary value representation for 5. Okay. Suppose I am just going to change this as 1010. This is a binary representation for 10. This is a binary representation for 10. Like this, every character will be having a binary value behind the screen. Okay. So, suppose 5. 5 also has a binary value. Try to convert 5 into binary format. It is 0101. So, you convert 10 into binary format 1010. Okay. So, this is about your binary literals what we just have and the next thing is digit separators what is this digit separator okay just a minute long some salary is equals to long salary is equals to i'm going to store a value eh? 10 100 1000 10000 1 lakh 10 lakhs okay 1 crore 10 crores 100 crores Suppose I am just going to have a value like this and print the value console dot write line. I am just going to print your value. Nothing special. I am printing the value there. But understand a point here. Readability. Tomorrow when you are going to read this, uh, you need to start zeros, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, one lakh, ten lakhs, one crore, ten crore, hundred crore like this every zero you need to count means you need to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is a little bit confusing to understand the things that is why in our school days when we learned the number system the number system in India they thought us like this without a confusion put a comma in the appropriate places what said first we put a comma after the first three digits again the next two digits like this we start putting commas and by these commas the readability of the value will be much more better and this is what we learnt in our school days. In the school days our teachers taught us about this. Okay. Right now we can follow the same format here also but not comma. In place of comma you can just use underscores. This is called as digit separators. We can use underscores but internally these underscores are not considered if you watch it, if you watch it see print you original value only but only to separate the things we just use the underscores to increase the readability nothing special you see internally the value will be represented for your 100 crores only but just to improvise the readability we just add these things that is all. Suppose it is an American number system if it is an American number system how do they write 100 crores there if it is an American number system how do you represent that 100 crores value come here for every three digits they add a things like this. So, like this only in the place of comma now replace underscore. Okay, Like this we can just store this is called as the digit separators. So, I was telling you that only these are these two are very simple very general features. Okay, Just simply we can store binary values and second thing is we can use digit separators. Okay, So, this is our sex video more videos to come up. And uh, thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Naresh IT.